are already uh, present in Kali Linux, but to testing the target, we use some customized automation scripts and uh, to use different different kinds of kind of purpose like fuzzing to discover the subdomains to discover the URL paths. So there are different types of scripts present uh, in the GitHub. Uh, some are written on Python, some are based on Go language. So in Kali Linux, Python is already present. So you don't have to install the Python. Uh, you can you can run the Python tool without installing Python. And Go is missing in the Kali Linux. So you have to install the Go first. So to install the Go language, you can use this command like sudo apt install and golang go. So this command will install the Go language in your system. Uh, before running this command, you must have to update your Kali system so you can run sudo apt uh, apt hyphen get update so your system has uh, updated libraries or dependencies and then you can install the go language uh, sudo apt install golang go once you install the go just check the check with check go with this command so you can confirm either go is installed or not so go version is the command and you can uh, uh, you can see the go language version as well because some tools are running on a specific version like 1.20 or 1.19 uh, if you are if you have go in your system uh, you have to you, you must have to update your go language uh, so updated go we need to use the tools now what are the those tools so first uh, and how you can install it. So the first tool we install is Katana. So you can type in your Google Katana GitHub. So you will lead to the Katana GitHub repository. Click on the link. So Katana basically created by project discovery organization. And this script will help you to detect all the paths or all the links that have that uh, a domain name have uh, we have different different functions we can use those functions with katana so how you can install it first you have to see if this tool is based on go or some other language so when you scroll down the repo you can see there are some go based files and uh, when you more scroll down the page you can see there is an installation command and it clearly indicates that Katana requires Go 1.18 or uh, and we have 1.21. So Katana will run successfully and copy the command, paste it in your terminal with sudo and hit enter. So Katana will download it in your system. Then you have to change the path of Katana directory and the path is we, we, we want to copy the path to user bin directory. So you can use this command sudo cp slash root slash go slash bin slash type the tool name you want to you, you install. So in my case, I have installed Katana. So Katana and space user bin. See, if you are installing a go tool, you have to change your path every time when you install. So if you are if, if you install a new tool related to Go, you have to change your path. So that's how you can access the Katana via your root directory. And as you see, Katana is present. Now, if you run the help command, Katana is available to run. So that's how you can install different, different various tools that are written on Go. Like uh, another tool I want to install that is written on Go is Gao. So you can go to the GitHub repo, scroll and find the installation command. This is also based on Go. So we have the installation command here as well. Copy the command, use it with sudo. Remove the dollar sign. and Gao will be downloaded to your system. 
and then you have to change path. So the tool is installed. Now we have to change the path. So sudo cp slash root slash go slash bin. Now type the tool name, which is gao slash user slash bin. Basically, we want to copy the uh, tool in go bin directory to our user bin directory. That's how you can use the gao using your root directory. Now gao is available. So you have to install various scripts that are written on Go. So I will write the scripts name and then we can use it for different, different purpose. So that basically uh, some Go based tools that are important. Katana, Gao, Wayback URLs, Subfinder, Asset, Finder, Ltrax, Anu, HTTPX, HTTP Pro, Nuclei, Fuzz ULI, Afro, Nuclei Fuzzer. These are all the scripts that are written on Go, some basic scripts, or you can use the JS leak as well. So these are some scripts you have to install in your Linux, and then we can use it for different, different purposes. Now let's see how you can install a Python tool. So Python tool installation is very easy. You can search the python tool name into github like dir search is a python based tool so dir search python sorry dir search github you can find the github repo open the github repo copy the code here is how you can copy the code click on code and use this command copy code and back to your terminal use the command to download this github is git clone and paste the command, sorry, paste the copied code and hit enter. So I have already dir search in my directory. As you see, dir search is already present. So that's how you can install the Python tool. Now, if you want to run the Python based tool, we have to go to the directory, which is dir search. Now we can run the dir search.py. So if you install the go based tool, you can access the tool with your root path. But if you install a Python based tool, you can, you have to go to the directory first and then we can use the Python script. So I will write down the name of Python based tool. Python based tool is not at much, not that much, uh, some basic scripts, but uh, sometimes we can use it for finding CVs. Like you uh, want to exploit some, you want to exploit some CV. So basically that particular exploit is written in Python or Ruby. So you have to uh, clone it and then we can use it. So the name of all the tools that are written in Python is dir search. We use this tool for content discovery and uh, NogPy. We use this tool to find subdomains and uh, link finder. And what other can what other, what other tools we can use it? Uh, these are some of the Python based tools that are much more important. And then you can install uh, some bash scripts. So the installation process of batch scripts are similar to Python. If you want to install some batch script, you just have to find the code in the GitHub, copy the code and use it with Git clone. So one bash script I recall is 403 bypass. So this is quite important script that will help you to bypass uh, some 403 errors or some 403 directories. So 
let's install it as well. Four zero three GitHub, and this is the path. Copy the code. Go to your terminal used with Git clone, and you are ready to go. So 403 is present and now if I want to use it, we have to go into the directory and the bash script is present. You can use it. Right. So some more things we need to download and which is some word lists. So there are two GitHub repository where we can find this, these word lists. One is Sacklist Master. These are some important word list. You can clone it, like go to the copy code and git clone it. This this repo is very large, so it will it will take some time to download, around one GB or more, I think. But this directory have all the word lists for different different types of vulnerabilities like uh, some fuzzing based one bit word list or some payloads or passwords some uh, different different types of payload bypasses for attack bypasses as well and the second repo i want to download is intruder payload master intruder payloads so when you hit when you search in the google uh, this is the repo that belongs to one and three go to the github repo and then you can git clone it so these are two important word list that repositories you can download it and uh, there is one more which is called payload all the things so this is the repo and you can download it as well as you see there are some word list for different different types of web attacks so we can use this word list for our reference like xss xse xpath ssrf sql no sql ldap different different types of word list present present in this repo so you can clone it all these three files and then we can use these files these word list with our scripts also you have to download some templates as well and uh, there are three types of templates present that that we will use with the script nuclei so you can search for nuclei templates and you can you will discover a directory called nuclear templates and you have to download it so copy the code and git clone it i think i already have this file so the second one is fuzzy template when you search the fuzzy template you will find the github repo copy the code and git clone it So these are two templates and the third one is present on my GitHub repo. So you can visit github.com daemon hyphen sec. And I also uploaded some template collection. So you can visit this and then git clone it. So these are three template collection we have and three template collections, three word list collections and uh, around four to sorry, 10 to 15 scripts that are sufficient to start in bug bounties using Kali Linux. Basically, these scripts helps you uh, to detect some vulnerabilities or 
to uh, to your recon purposes right you can find the uh, some disclosed paths uh, you can launch some attacks using this is these scripts so today and all other tools we need uh, is already installed in your linux like nmap uh, i hope you heard about nmap network mapper sql map right or wp scan these are some basic tools that are already installed in your linux okay so there are some more tools i forgot you can install uh one tool name which is gauri nabu and zoom scan mage scan group scan these three tools are used to scan the joomla magento and drupal and this tool is help you to uh, detect the sql and this is also a port network mapper similarly like nmap so additionally we can use these and aem scan aem hyphen hacker so these seven scripts you can install more these are all attacking scripts and all these are all these are uh, informational scripts basically help you to detect or to detect some information or recon type of uh, scanning so you have to install all these scripts in your linux uh, 